Welcome to 13 Hour Time 62 Lego Set Reviews. Today we have set number 70502, Cole's Earth Driller. This is our first Ninjago 2013 Lego Set Review. Let's take a closer look at this set now. Um, seven. Ugh, sorry, I messed up the order. Today we have set number 70502, Cole's Earth Driller. Ages 7 to 14, 171 pieces, and retails at $19.99. This is released this year in 2013 for the final battle of Ninjago. However, we also know that for 2014, we'll be getting more Ninjago sets. This is the ultimate one, which is, um, this part is kind of describing the Golden Dragon, the Golden Ninja, and the final battle between Lloyd and his father. Let's take a closer look at this set now. Here we have the box art for the box. And here we have the box art for the set. I apologize for the left side because I had a little bit of trouble opening it up. On the bottom left corner you see the ninja that's included in the set. This is very similar to 2012 box art. They have coal included. On the top right you have the icon of Ninjago for either the wave or the year, just like in the other um, 2011 and 2012. For this time, it's the Golden Dragon and the Golden Ninja, aka Lloyd Garmadon. On the bottom right corner, unlike the other two years, you have the final battle. It tells kind of a title of this year. It's supposed to be the finishing point for Ninjago, but it will return in 2000. And 14. On the back of the box, you have in the bottom left corner, just like in other years, the items to collect and which ones are in this set. So you have number three of four, the earth sword, and there are swords for every element, fire, ice, earth, and lightning. You also get to see the features of the set, the set entirely, a link to the website, and on the top right corner it shows um, how this set looks in the TV show, since it's gotten so popular, they put a picture of it on the t um, based on the TV show up there. You also get a set of stickers in the set. We'll explain more about where these stickers go when we review the set. But just so you're aware, small sticker sheet. There are no numbered bags in this set, and you get a pretty decent sized, um, instruction manual just for building the one model in this and there's a very faint background it's not it's a little bit hard to see but on the top right corner there's that little temple area probably gonna be the temple of light this I thought was interesting they have coal included in the instruction manual they haven't um, put that in the 2012 Ninjago sets or in many other themes. At least not since Star Wars many, many years ago. They used to put the names of the figures. And on the back, you have all the sets in this wave, probably of this year too, for Ninjago, the final battle. You also get several additional pieces to the set, little extra pieces not used in the model. You get an extra katana blade, which is nice. Although, typical for Ninjago sets, you know, to get a katana blade. You get an extra 1x1 one one in gold and in white. You get a Technic Peg, short and kind of a larger one. You get one of these little pieces, yellow Technic piece, and also a red one, a little bit larger. You also get a small Technic gear in beige. Now let's take a look at our set. We have two minifigures in Cole's Earth Driller. We have Cole in his kimono suit, and we have the Stone Warrior. This version of the Stone Warrior is at normal height, because there are some that are um, shorter, and he has blue marking on his face compared to some that have yellow. Let's take a look first at Cole. It's got very nice printing. The kimono suits are basically the same except for the colors. 
and the element symbol on the back. Cole still has the same face as he did in 2011 and in 2012, and no back printing. I also want to take a look at the Earth Sword, because it's a very new piece for the blade. Again, there's no difference between this and the other swords, except the hilt sometimes changes, and the sword itself has the same, um, the same shape. It's just a different color. Now we'll take a look at the Stone Warrior. I don't know, I think that's his name. He's got very nice, very decorative printing on the front and on the back. The shoulder blades piece does look similar on both sides. However, you see right here, there is a small difference. So, I don't know if it matters that much when you're putting it on. You get a red hat, just like Sensei Wu's. And you get, see that blue printing? It looks a lot like Garmadon, but I don't think it's any relation because these were stone warriors at one time. Now you can see the full printing on the torso. And on the back. There's also no back printing on the head. Now we're going to take a look at the model itself. Cole's Earth Driller. This is the only model that you built in the set. So, it, this one uses all the pieces included. As mentioned before, we do have lots of stickers on this. We got some little fins on the back, we got a thruster engine, we got some nice rock shaped pieces, a nice look on the tires, and you get the nice giant drill. Here it is from the top, there's a small engine in the front, see the cockpit, lots of stickers on the top, as you can see. Some of them do have actual words printed on them, such as this one says no step. There are two in the back that say, what does it say, cabin air on the left and cabin heat on the right. And then there's two on the cockpit, if I turn this around you can see them. One says alternate one off and alternate two off. What I like about that sticker, it carries from up here down to here, so it's easier to put it onto the cockpit and you can still see coal inside there. This one also works well with the cockpit because it doesn't interfere with this opening and closing. If you fit it right, it shouldn't interfere. You also got a control panel in here. It shows a stone warrior and some little buttons. The sword can fit with coal in here. I think coal is probably the it's probably just a one seater vehicle. So it looks like open and closes. On this side, you got some more printing. It actually shows um, four skeleton heads and six snake heads. So it's probably one of those. Some of the vehicles have like little counters on the side, like how many they've, um, how many of the ninjas have taken out with this vehicle, which I think is kind of cool. But they don't have any stone warrior heads, probably just because they're getting in the action now. The wheels held up pretty well. Here's a look on the underside. See how the gears work for the main feature of the set, and that would be rolling this along and making the drill turn. It's a nice, um, it's probably one of the best reasons I got this set, because I like drilling vehicles, um, you know, for this, you know, Ninjago shape, and the one from Power Miners had a similar shape. If you notice a little bit closer, when these wheels turn, the black section turns one way, 
the grit, the gold section turns the other way. If I just pop this off, you see how that works. There are gears behind here that turn it one direction. And then there are gears behind you that turn the other direction because there are gear teeth on that side. So that turns like that. And this holds it in so it doesn't fall off. And there you have Cole's Earth Driller. Here we have the box art for the set. On the bottom left corner you notice it has the figure included as um, also happened with 2012. Ninjago sets. On the bottom right corner you see it says the final battle. So it tells you um, for this year what's happening. The big theme for Ninjago. On the top right you see that they have the Golden Dragon aka the Green Ninja aka Lloyd Garmadon. He's getting a lot of the destiny put upon him in Ninjago. On the back of the box, we have on the bottom left corner, there is a little counter, which is similar to 2011 and 2012, where you show um, four different swords that you can collect for 2013. And this set has one of them that has the Earth Sword. The other ones would be Ice, Fire, and Lightning, just like the four elements of Ninjago. You also have the set itself and the features of the set on the top right it shows how the set is shown in the TV show kind of that film picture in this set you also get a set of stickers these will be explained on the model but just to let you know we get a couple stickers in this set you get a pretty thick sized um, instruction manual on the back it shows all of the sets. There are no spinner sets for this wave of 2013 Ninjago. And I, you know, probably should, because LEGO wanted to end it with these sets, but you know, we are getting 2014 Ninjago sets. So there's a look at all of them. On the inside, pretty basic for how it's all put together. And no bags. This I find interesting though. They include Cole's name inside of the instructions. I don't remember seeing that for 2012 Ninjago sets. Cole included. Kind of reminds me of um, when they had names put on like licensed products. They would put them in the instructions. So yes, here it just shows steps straight through, so no numbered bags. We also got several extra pieces with this set, including an extra beige gear. You use three of these in the set. You get an extra katana blade, the stone soldier only. So overall, I think this is a great Ninjago set. For $20, you get a good amount of pieces, even though it's a little bit less for price per piece. It makes up for it with the play features, which are great. The design is pretty good. The stickers are not too hard to put on because they fit well with the vehicle. Um, the minifigures you get are great because um, the Stone Warrior has you know, some really nice details for being a warrior. And Cole looks pretty good in those kimono um, robes, outfit. The set itself, I know, has been in the TV show and is supposed to fit up to four, maybe five minifigures because all the ninjas jump into it at once and try to drive with it. But for set purposes, you know, it's going to just have one, maybe two if you can squeeze them in there. I like how the sword can fit inside of the cockpit as well. Let's see, I fit it in here. And it won't bend too much because it's, even though it's a soft plastic, it still has enough room that it could mainly stretch itself out. So thanks for watching, and I hope to get maybe a few more Ninjago sets this year, and maybe make some more Ninjago reviews. We'll see you later.